absolutely no reason to be worried, your ladyship. I promise your wedding will go off without a hitch. Provided that a cursed atheist can leave you alone for ten minutes. Come, my darling, I don't think he's as bad as thou shalt think. Oh, but he doth annoy me a great deal. Come now, after the ceremony, I've arranged for a play to be presented in your honor by some of the foremost of actors in the city. The wedding is sure to be a success. You have done well. May I pronounce his royal title? Yes, my darling. Kneel, most gracious master of ceremonies. From where dost thou hail? From the house of Hammer, your ladyship. Then rise, MC Hammer. Go and gather the players and be about your business. Thank you kindly. I shall take my leave. <laughs> Come, my dear. Let us walk in the moonlight. For it is summer, and I am cold. Yes, my darling. That's a totally wonderful idea. <laughs> Such a funny country you have here. I'm so amused by its little customs. It is yet. Stand forth, dude. <laughs> what should so bother my favorite soldier that he should come before me on the eve of my marriage to my beloved Amazon? All partners to my lord and queen. Stand, Gideon. I'm not yet your queen. What troubles you, good sir? My lord, it is my daughter Hermia. Stand forth, Demetrius. This man have my consent to marry her. Now, my gracious duke, this man, Lysander, hath bewitched the very mind of my daughter with words of love, sonnets, promises of affection. He corrupts her against me, and she refuses Demetrius' hand. Is this true? Aye, my lord, it is. Well, Demetrius is a worthy lord. And so is Lysander. Still your tongue, hush! <laughs> I bring this to you, so I may not have to punish her according to our nation's laws. Either she marries Demetrius, or I turn her over to the law of the land. Yield, dear Hermia, you need not face a harsh penalty. Good Lysander, forbid the right to to me by her father Aesius. Nay, Demetrius, you have her father's love. Can I not have hers? Steal your tongue, Lysander! I will not, my lord. I am bred just as well as Demetrius. I am as well possessed of land and money. <laughs> and even without that, I am loved of Hermia. Can you not let me marry her? My good Lysander, I have no ill will to you. But the law of the land is the law. And I am bound to you. I am sorry that such an event should happen on the eve of my marriage to Hippolyta. But it must be followed. Either Hermia will marry Demetrius according to her father's wishes, or she'll have to face the penalties. Surely there must be no penalty. There is not. You don't call him Shirley. It is very rude. Yes, of course, my darling. Now, I must depart. I cannot change the laws. I leave this to you. Come, Demetrius! You know how he follows him so, like a puppy. A foul mouth gutter tooth. I'll have longer head loud! <laughs> oh, now, now, Hermia, why do you pout so? <laughs> I would rather. <clears throat> Sorry. I'd rather die and marry that stupid little. The course of true love never did run smooth. I see What do we do now? I have an idea. I have an aunt who lives a few miles away from here, outside the run with the Athenian law. Tonight we'll steal back into the forest. If we leave now, we can make it there before the sun rises. Meet me by the fountain. You will join me, won't you? Yes. 